Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. Um, just before I start, I want to say thank you to, I think it was Modjik. Modjik pointed out that um, my settings, everything seemed slightly washed out a little bit. So I actually had the gamma turned right up so the game wasn't too dark for you guys. So I've actually turned that back down and I do notice a difference straight away. Hopefully you guys do as well and um, you're enjoying this a bit more. So I did actually, I've, I've played a little bit but I came back to where I finished. I haven't really done much. I just wanted to make sure it looked good at night time still and I think this looks quite nice. Everything's looking sharper and uh, yeah so anyway we'll get into it. So yeah I've got some perk points but I didn't want to do that till you guys were here to see what we do. So let's do some more perk points. So we've done toughness, we've done slow the world, Lone Wolf, Strider, our walk speed goes up, which could be kind of nice. Sprint speed faster would definitely be good. We don't seem to sprint very fast. High maintenance, um, you take better care of your weapons and armor. Okay, uh, um, hmm. Base armor, we've not got any armor yet, but I'm guessing we will get armor. Carrying capacity, I imagine, will be good. We're kind of okay just now. Ooh, recharge rate. That sounds nice. I'm going to use this more often as well, the tactical time um, dilation. Uh, traveler, you've become very efficient at transporting goods. Hmm, I'm not sure what that one's for. More XP from companions kills. Um, get better vendor prices. Well, we've got a companion now. Do we want to use... Let me think, let me think. Um... Print speed. I think we're actually going to go with this one. I want to think I want to use this one more often possibly. So let's have a look at our quest then. So we're on the main quest but we've also got, I'm wondering if we should maybe just do this while we're here. I wouldn't mind actually just completing this little side quest, getting to know the people around here a bit better. So we've got this guy over here is the closest it looks. So we're going to have a wee look through here. Uh, interesting noise. Yeah, I think the game looks much better now, doesn't it? It's sharper. It's much prettier. Yes, Hello please. there. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Whoa, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. This spry is a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Oh dear. Um, let's use perception. Kind of wandering alienist walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state. Oh, that didn't seem to go down so well. Um, are, so you're Martin Abernathy? What? No, I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Not looking for trouble, just here to get your fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Um, should we go with knows what? Or he told me everything. How long did you think you could keep the secret like that? Oh goodness, let's go for it. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you. I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. It has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. I'm um, sorry to hear that you're being paranoid. I'm sure it's very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so you can, I can get out here. Wow, that's not very nice, is it? Um, I'm sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. 
I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance for me, I could really use the help. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Ooh, okay. Um, fine, do it. <laughs> oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Oh, dear. Um, anything I should know about the community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Hmm. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Probably. Dirty, dirty things. Um, taking an awful risk trusting me. Why? Well, well, I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Aw, that's a wee shame. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Okay, I'll leave you be. Woohoo, level up. Um, companion skills add to your skill checks, increasing your leadership skills, increasing your... Okay. Right, let's have a wee look. So we have 10 more points available again. I'm actually going to put in someone melee because we haven't put any in there. So I'm going to put maybe three into melee, more into guns, more into defense, more into dialogue. Um, and let's see, don't really need tech just now, I don't think. Let's stick leadership in there. Uh, let me think. One more dialogue and one more stealth. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, I do that every single time. Yes, apply. Sorry, guys. And then I just want to see our journal has updated. What's this? Oops, wrong one. Uh wanted oh that's from the okay so that okay cool so from reading those posters it's actually updated in there you're making a mistake working for abernathy who said that you hello excuse me i'm esther blaine spacer's choice actuary i overheard your talk with abernathy i hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Oh, really? He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Persuade. Let me worry about that. Oh. All right. Yes. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Um, Abernethy is paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I kind of think I should give it to him, though. I feel sorry for the old guy. I'll get it. I'll consider it. But we'll see if she can match it first. I paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. Hmm. We're thinking about it. There's nothing wrong in that. Right, are we still actually... So we've got the barber shop there. There was another person, oh this way, that we had to get money from. Where are they? And it looks like one of them might be in here. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're upstairs. There they are. You the new worker? 
Whatever. Make nope. it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Um, I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Ooh. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That was kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Wow. And he shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. That's an awful thing to see. Must be tough losing family. Um, Eugene wasn't family. Hmm? I thought she said he was, she, he was her closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. <laughs> Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Wow. That, yeah, you can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Um, I'll let you get back to work. Okay, there you go. Phyllis, so we have two more to get the money from. We've got the the barber who says he's got no money and we had to try and think of another way to find him money and that will... Where is he? This must be him over here then. Let's just go and see if he's got anything else to say to us and it looks like there's another one outside that oh let's go and have a look out here and see what this is um all right okay so we just give this is just taking us out here to give him the fees possibly so i think we're better off just doing it all at one time oh also i want to show you when i was looking around i found over here this is the graveyard but I saw and I didn't want to look at it till I was on with you guys there was something here to examine hmm that's not what I thought it was gonna be that's interesting okay wonder what that's all about so let's go back inside Here we go. We still need to think of a way for this guy to pay his fees. Like maybe he can give. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey. What can I do for you? Um, you seem like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Okay, what's this? Oh, am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if you use the term doctor loosely, so you prepare um, corpses for burial. Mm. And I'm guessing you were trained in medical school. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Wow, that's uh, pretty good. Go ahead. Um, you seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. What do you know about this plague? 
The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Uh, what are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Why don't you treat all your workers? That's quite a good question. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Hmm. Sensible policy. Whose idea was that? That's monstrous. That's Nature is monstrous, friend. And this plague is natural selection at work. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. How is he so skint then? As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. Okay, so I don't understand why he's so skint if uh, he... A scientist. It's kind of cool. Let's exam oh. examine this. Uh, Conrad, receptionist, shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay for his his body price. This is going to ruin us. Um, a pawn off his teeth. You didn't have a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down for his family or something. Uh, when you're processing the body right, just dig around and pry them out. Can sell them. Um, what do you think? Don't write back. Uh, da -da -da -da. Just waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis. Hmm. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? So... Spacer Choice Guard. Seems like you are being a naughty one. I've got something else to say to you. What can I do for you? I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth? There you go. You know about Eugene? Yeah, wow. hand over the cash, buddy. None of your business. I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. <laughs> I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. No, you shouldn't. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. You liar. I'm sure he won't miss them. They're probably worth a few bits. That's unthinkable. <laughs> Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Yes, you can. Of course you uh, can. Are you asking rhetorically? Because you're being <laughs> serious. Ew. Gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, are you sure about this? Ask forgiveness from the vicar later. I don't care. I'm just here to collect your dues. Ask the vicar for later. Good vicar Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but your point is well taken. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Woohoo! One more to go. Um, I'm told Eugene kills himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Hmm. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. That's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. 
I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with the suicide. Hmm, that's interesting. So do you think maybe they've, like, the medicine's been planted on him to make it seem as though he didn't commit suicide? So we still need to get this guy. So he is stationed as a guard on the landing pad southeast of Edgewater. So southeast is down here. Hmm, wait a minute, let's have a look on this one. What's that? There. Oh, a, ven a vending machine. Oh yes, I found a vending machine. I'll show you that in a minute as well, actually. Objective. So that is basically where Silas is. Okay, so he must just be with Silas. So it's maybe not even Silas that this is pointing to. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. One more to go. Okay, where's he? Where's he gone? Let's see. Oh, what's all this around here? It's like the starts of some houses they're building, maybe? Expanding the town? Probably. Oh, I can hear some more of those cute wee lizard things. Okay, this is where we're going. These plants look so awesome. I really like them. It kind of reminds me slightly of No Man's Sky. Um, when I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love living here. Oh, I can't get over how nice this game looks. It's really cool. Right, you. Hey, hey! <laughs> Stay still! <laughs> Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Sorry, not me. Um, what are you <laughs> babbling about? Are you okay? You seem confused. I've been sent to get your graveside I fees. I told I pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. That must be what it means. Yep. Uh, what are you babbling about? The war. <laughs> The coming apocalypse, man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier, cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's, right. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. Ooh, this seems when interesting. The the mechanicals come clanging on over that hill. Where will you be, cowering beneath your cot, or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Uh, <laughs> if your resistance needs another gun, I'm for hire. Got a question for you. Go on. What exactly do you do here? What do you have against mechanicals? Go on then. You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculus. It's pretty creepy, can't say have. I don't think I've even seen a mechanical yet. Pray to the law that you never do. A mechanical never forgets the face of its enemy. First they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. I'll let you be. Maybe I'll join you later, but for just now, I'll leave you be. <laughs> What's this over here? A uh, workbench discovered. Cool. We'll have a look at that later. I'm sure it'll come in handy for something. Um, probably shouldn't be picking this crazy guy's locks. What's this? Bypass shunt. 
I actually found one of those earlier. Right, so should we just go over to Silas now and be like, here you go, we've got all your monies. Oops. I still keep pressing triangle for jump. Um, but it is X for jump. They, where are those? I can hear them, but I can't see them. I'm guessing maybe they're inside that building, possibly. Anyway, right. We got your money. Here we go. Money, money, money. Money. Here's all your money. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. What are you talking about? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? I got all your money. Um, hey, about those fees you wanted. We need to talk about Eugene. Should we do that first? Yeah? What about him? Um, you first. I know you buried him. Well, yeah. It's what I'm contractually obligated to do. What's this about? Um, I saw the cold teeth could be worth something if you pulled them out. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night oh. he was supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Hmm. Maybe he wasn't dead. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Hmm. Let me know if you find anything. That's interesting. Um, so about those fees you wanted. You any trouble? Um, done paperwork fees and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out of my way for you. Or oh, does that mean we might get a little bit extra money? Should I tell him about that as well? Let's try this. Our reputation's gone up as well, and we're we're getting things. Cool. I'll buy you a drink sometime. <laughs> um, I'll hold you to that. Okay. Okay. Cool. First side quest done, and I think we'll leave this episode here, and then we'll go on to the next one with something new. Excellent. This is really cool. I'm still really enjoying this. I hope everyone else is. And yeah, please comment below if you think that everything is looking nicer. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you next time. Okie doke. Bye.